Hello and welcome to my sequel to my original video on how to culture Daphne Magna. This video I basically want to focus on how to feed them and how to know when to feed them. So this is a 50 gallon Rubbermaid drum I have and this is what I'm doing now. I started off with smaller ones to learn more about them but now that I do I want to show you this. So see how all the Daphne are on the wall there. There's some in the middle but there's a ton on the wall. And this is this is basically their way of saying that they're running out of food and uh, you need to feed them or else they will die really quickly. And then, you know, your last week of culturing would have been for nothing. And you'll kind of just have a dwindling population. So we're gonna mix some food with spirulina and yeast and uh, show you how we feed them and then how they act afterwards and you can see the difference between can see how many there are right there and how many were on the wall so here we go we have spirulina and yeast mixed up shake it up for about 30 seconds about you know a teaspoon of spirulina powder a teaspoon of yeast and we're just going to pour it in here and wait about 15 minutes and I'll show you what I'm talking about when they're knowing how to feed them when they're on the wall versus in the center. There's some guppies I saw on my website. Created these last month. So we're just going to pour it in here. You want to do it in the center but going towards one direction. And always underneath the light since uh you know they really love light and it's they're very similar to bugs or fish they just they go towards the light there so we're going to let that sit in there and you can see it's pretty cloudy but it's not completely going to cloud the whole container see how it's got open water over here clean water they can breathe not that they breathe they create their own hemoglobin but um feeding them is the most important and the hardest part about keeping them so this is gonna split in here and you can see there's nothing in the middle right now. And in about 10 minutes, that's gonna be a totally different story. So I'll do this, you know, I'll feed them once a day or once every other day, but I'll, basically it's judging on where they are in the tank. If they're in the center, I know there's still food there. They all know there's still food. If they're on the walls like they were when I showed you before, that's when you know you need to feed them. So, yeah. So it's been about 10 minutes and you'll see it's still pretty cloudy, but you'll see that there's mass of them right here. And actually this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's, if you had them in an aquarium, I had them in a 55 and 10s and 5s and all those sorts of stuff. It's actually an upside down tornado. And they come together when there's a large food source in the water like this. And it basically create a natural bubble filter where they pull, they create the circulation as a mass and it pulls all of these to them. And then they feast together like this. You can see they got a good color on them too. That's a good way of knowing how healthy they are. They're not all white. They're all pretty healthy looking, pretty fat actually. And you know, if you watch my other video, you'll know that they multiply, you know, tenfold every seven days. And uh, if you know how to feed them like this, you'll continually get more and more and more and more and more of you. If you're running out and you have a large container like this, you're doing something wrong. And I, a lot of it just has to do with the feeding and the water changes. I change the water about once a week or once every two weeks. And I'll sometimes do RO water, remineralized. Or if I have a fish tank that has some foggy or cyanobacteria or something like that, I'll, I'll use that. But you can see here, there's like nothing here. Just a couple floating around going to the group. But this is kind of how they've evolved to eat. And uh, so this is what they look like when there's plenty of food in the water. When they go to the wall, they're hungry. You need to feed them, otherwise you're gonna kill them all. Well, I hope this helped you on learning how to feed and when to feed. Um, please like and subscribe. And uh, best of luck with all your cultures.